Hey YouTubers, it's Dansky and this is my son Leo. And today we're going to be learning how you can create an awesome neon text effect in Adobe Illustrator. Aren't we? Does that sound good? Yeah, it's really awesome. You should definitely watch this video. Oh, thanks. It's really kind of you. So we're going to start by creating a brand new Illustrator document. And then what we want to do is select our rectangle tool because we're going to be creating a neon text effect. So we want something really dark. So the glow and the effect of the neonness, neonness is that a word, really stands out. So let's just zoom out and we're going to create a humongous rectangle square, just effectively a backdrop for us to work with. So I'm just dragging mine to fill the artboard and then here in the swatches palette I'm going to double click on the black and just drag these sliders all the way to the left so it should read 000, so it's proper true RGB black and I'm then going to go to object, lock and selection because when we're working with our neon text composition we don't want to accidentally select this by mistake. So there we go, we've got a black background, let's zoom back in and we'll select the text tool or the type tool, click anywhere on the artboard, change your color to white so you can actually see your text and you can type whatever word you like. I'm going to be really really uncreative and type the word neon. Just make sure that's white and then you can pick a font and I'm going to pick Aerial Rounded MT Standard. So it doesn't have to be this font, it can be any font that you like. We can then select it, go up to Type, and click Create Outlines. And effectively this turns it from editable text into an outline, or a shape. Something that we can work with that isn't editable text anymore. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to double click on the pink over here, and then check this as a global swatch. So what this means is that once we've created our neon text effect, if we then go back and change this swatch at a later date, any instance of it throughout our document will be updated to the new color. So if I create pink neon text, for example, I can then load up this swatch at the very end of this video, and then I can change the slider so it's blue and it will update every instance of that pink text and change it all blue. So it's a really handy way so you don't have to go through and select all the different letters and manually change them. So we've got our pink text. Now what we're going to do is select it, go up to Object, Path, and Offset Path. And what this will do will effectively create another version of our text but with a slight offset. So here you can see 10 pixels. If I tick the preview box, you can see that it adds effectively a 10 pixel stroke all the way around the edge. So if I change that to 5 pixels, you can see it gets thinner. If I change it to minus 5 pixels, however, you can see that it actually does it on the inside. And that's what we want here. So depending on how big you've created your text, you want something that looks like this. So I'm going to go for minus 5 pixels. If I zoom in so you can see, it's created another version of this neon text, but a lot thinner inside the original letters. Now let's just check. Okay, this is all grouped together, but if I select it and go up to Object Ungroup, you'll now see that it's actually created these all as new shapes. So what I'm going to do is select these inner shapes by holding Shift, just to select all of them, and then I'm going to go to Object and Group. And then holding Shift and using the arrow keys, I'm just going to tap it down. And then I'm going to do the same for the slightly thicker neon text. Just select all of that, go to Object and Group. So now when we're working with them, they are all grouped together. And I'm going to change the color of this thinner neon text. Well, I'm going to make, a, make it a slightly lighter shade of pink. So we've got our pink selected in the swatches palette. What we can actually do is go up to here and go to color guide. If you click that, it's got some predefined swatches that go darker and lighter. So we can actually pick one of these. 
and then I can click the new swatch tab and it will automatically add that as a new swatch. And then holding shift and pressing the arrow keys, I can just tap the thinner neon text back into place. Okay, so there we go. We can see it starting to take shape. If you imagine that this lighter color in the middle is the bulb, it is the bright bulb that, uh, that is creating the light and then the pink around the edge is gonna become our glow that comes off of the bulb. So you could even make this inner color a bit lighter if you really wanted to. When you're happy with what you've got, we're gonna select the outer pink, that's the darker one here. Go up to Effect, Blur, select Gaussian Blur, and then tick the preview box and we can adjust this as we need to. So you can see here, this is adding the glow, it is creating that neon effect. So again, depending on the size of your artboard and your composition, you can adjust this to suit you. But I'm gonna do something like, I think six. So there we go, you can see we've created some neon text. You can apply a very slight blur to the bulb itself if you like, this is entirely optional. So perhaps one, just to give it a bit of a blur, just ever so slightly. And I think one thing that's still missing is because this is neon text, the black backdrop, if that were a wall or something behind it, you would see a glow coming off of it. So it's just missing that, that finishing touch. So if we select our already blurred neon text, and we're just gonna select it and go up to edit and then copy, and then paste in front, hold shift, and using the arrow keys, just tap that up. We can go over to our appearance palette here, select our Gaussian blur, and we can increase that. just enough so that when I slide it back under, holding shift and using the arrow keys, it just gives a little bit of a glow around the actual letters themselves. And you can then adjust the transparency of this as you like. So I might go with something around 80%. And now you remember what I said before about adjusting the color. You can go in and individually adjust the color of each letter if you like. Or, without selecting anything, you can go back over to the swatches palette, double click on the pink, tick the preview box, and we'll adjust the slider. And you can see now that it's changing the color of the text. And because we selected colors from the color guide over here, you can see that the lighter versions of that pink we started with have also been updated to reflect the new color. And there you go, we've created some neon text in Illustrator. As always guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, share and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Take care. I'm gonna say bye-bye. 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 Uh, Leo, do you mind? <laughs>